no matter what, this is last game in Knoxville for the season. Um, how much do you guys want to keep this going, especially for your seniors who are literally playing their last? You'll be back, but they won't to play another game in Knoxville. How much do you guys want to keep this going? Um, just as long as possible. Obviously, this is our last home game. This home game. And, um, it's, it's do or die at this point. So we got to really just play as a team and really play for our seniors. Like you said, this is, this is their last go around forever. Their last, it could be their last college game, but we don't want them to end like this. Um, I wouldn't want to end my senior year like that. So we try to keep it going really just for them and really for ourselves. We're trying to get our, this program back to where it should be, uh, which would be in the final four and everything like that. So we're, we're really playing for ourselves at this point. You're a long way from home, obviously. Kind of ironic that you're playing Oregon State and, and Knoxville. How have you dealt with that? I know it's a struggle. The most homesick freshman I ever saw was Ariel Massingale. I mean, like, crying every week. And I told her, I think I've met someone who may have gotten as homesick as you did. So she's happy to yield the mantle of most homesick kid. But how have you dealt with that, and how are you doing now? Um, yeah, I mean, I'm fine. I don't really get that homesick. I just, I think I miss my family more than anything. But no, I don't. I've never cried being homesick. Okay, like so that, Ariel so. still holds the yeah, title no, as most really, homesick. I really don't get homesick. I really just miss my mom. You miss your mom? Yeah. I think she misses you a lot, too. Oh, yeah, I know. And then, I was asking Anastasia this, too. You guys, I mean, you you do some incredible freshman things, and you make some freshman mistakes. Mm -hmm. That's going to happen. You, yeah. Uh, but when you guys turn over the ball, you don't drop your head. You don't pout. You get right back on defense. Just Is that just a mindset you both have? And how do, how do you keep that mindset? Um, I know for me personally, it's just something that, you know, obviously we're – my whole team is going to you know someone else might make a mistake. Um, I put their head down, but as the point guard on the court, as the point guard on the court and as the leader on the floor, everyone's looking up to you, like looking to play, make play calls and everything like that. So I, we can't especially hold our heads down. So it's very important for us to lead our team, um, whether we make a mistake or not. So. You know defenses are targeting you. I mean, they watch the film, they're coming after you. Does that, does that get in your head sometimes, or, or how do you adjust to that? Because the, the pressure's coming and the traps are coming. Yeah, no, we, we definitely know uh, from the teams that have been doing it. Um, but, I mean, we, we watch film and everything like that, so we should, we'll be fine. Do you, do you, any, were there any first game jitters for you against Liberty, a little bit of the one and done, or is that, you just, um, you played a lot of big games, I mean, yeah. at, at this level already. Yeah, so I, I, I wouldn't say jitters, I think it's more, more exciting than anything that we're finally playing in a March Madness type um, environment, just re really here, so it's, it's been fun and uh, good to get that first game out of the way, definitely, but um, definitely back on track this next week. All right, thank you, Avina. Thank you.